We recently announced our expansion of coverage to the post-secondary space with a special emphasis on community colleges. That audience has not typically been an audience of Education NC. A lot of them did not know who we were. We knew that if we started publishing content about you know, a select few community colleges, that might really damage the relationship with other community colleges. And our goal was to cover all 58 community colleges. And Mevin being Mevin, she looked at us and she's like, why well, don't go to all 58? A blitz, if you will. With only 10 staff members, how do we visit all 58 community colleges within about a week and a half? That was our job. Most of the community colleges are not used to media coverage. In a community or an institution or a person that's not used to working with reporters, a reporter calling you and saying, hey, I want to come visit you, doesn't always feel like good news. We asked Peter Hans, the new system president, to send an email to all 58 community college presidents just saying, please welcome these visitors onto your campus. Nation emailed all of the presidents. Once they responded and confirmed the date, Annalisa and I took over. We split up the 58 community colleges between the two of us, and then we tackled individual outreach to each of them. Email chains, but also phone calls, voicemails. So this is my community college email folder. All of the emails that I was sending to and from the community college presidents, their assistants. We told them, you know, we want to see what you're proud of. We want to see your bright spots. What makes your institution unique? We would love to see what you're most proud of. We would like to speak with administration. We'd like to speak with faculty. We'd like to speak with students. It was helpful to offer previous content as well as previous agendas from other visits to show them examples of what they could do. We created notes and an agenda for every single community college. We passed off those notes and those relationships to each staff member. Putting in all those hours of work on the front end, being willing to take people's calls and really talk them through who we are, what we wanted to do, what we wanted to see, and work with them to build an agenda, we ended up having really meaningful visits. We had each staff member tweet from their own personal accounts. That allowed them to have more ownership over their coverage, inject more personality into what they were tweeting, and allow them to build their own trust and relationships with each campus that they were visiting. Yeah, I'm a card-carrying idealist, I admit it, I admit it. And it really has made a difference in what we've done here. The relationship is beginning to build in such a way that we can have those sort of honest and authentic conversations. I mean, to the point where at some of our visits, the presidents would be like, all right, turn off your camera. I'm gonna tell you something else. The week of the Blitz, we also launched a newsletter called Awake 58. It was easy to go with Awake 58 as the hashtag, and now we have a living library on Twitter of every tweet posted that week. Garrett Henshaw played baseball in college and was going to go pro before he had an injury that ended up ending his career. So we decided to do a video entirely based on his past and how he went from looking at professional baseball to being a community college president. I think that just shows the prep work that led to some of these interesting stories and also coming out of the Blitz, now we have that same kind of prep work at all these other colleges going forward. Within a few months of the Blitz, there will be a piece of content on our website on all of those 58 community colleges. What did we learn? Uh, we learned that it's a big state. <laughs>
Prepare to learn more about our community colleges and their students, their communities, our workforce, our economy, and the future of our state. Ed NC is now positioned to make sure North Carolina is the most information rich state in the nation when it comes to education. We want people to know about the college and we really want to get the word out there about what they're doing for us in our lives. Blitz is just the beginning.